Sure. Because the transactions only cost pennies. If um, that, they might not even cost pennies. We'll see. And <clears throat> just a question from the community. Um, why a 10,000 X F supply for poles is chosen instead of say a 100 X or a thousand X supply? It's, it's basically just guessing. So I, I guessed the hex units and it worked out perfectly. So now one hex costs like 1.7, 1.8 cents. Would you want your hex to cost more? Not really. A penny is a great unit of account. It works great for the United States, the, the world's global reserve currency. And then, okay, so we 100x, now we're $2. Is that too expensive for hacks? No, that's also a good number. I like that number too. But if I didn't have the supply set where I did, then you, you might, you know, if, if there wasn't 600 billion units of hacks and there was only 6 million units, you know, each hex would cost thousands and thousands of dollars now. And do you want to trade, do you want to buy a coffee for a decimal of hex? No, it sucks. Nobody likes decimals. So it's a guessing game as to what the USD evaluation of the coin will be. And so like, you know, right now, like I'll give you some math. Let me, let me give you some math real quick. <clears throat> so right now, Bitcoin's worth a trillion dollars. Feels funny to say that, got to tell you. <laughs> Ethereum is worth a third of that at 320 billion. BNB is worth 100 billion, which is a third of Ethereum. So if you look at the way that the rankings go currently, it's one, one third, one third. Which is interesting because remember I told you the rankings for gold, silver, bronze earlier, you just add 50% to each. Well, in this model, you're multiplying by three for each. So number three is at uh, 100 billion. Next one up is at 300 billion. Next one's up is at a trillion. It's basically 900 billion, right? Times three, times three, times three. So let's say, let's say that we got, I'm just pulling a random number here, just random, right? So, so like, what if we only got 5% of Ethereum's valuation with higher throughput, higher utility, better game theory, less waste, more free coins, you can't possibly have more free coins, you know? Um, I, I think it, you could realistically, you wouldn't be surprised if you got 5%, you really wouldn't be. I mean, even with Hex, we got 3% of people that could have claimed their free Hex as a Bitcoin holder to claim it. And that's a much larger community. And so we got 3% of, of Bitcoin people to play along with Hex. And I, I don't think like, I think 5%, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me at all. So. Look, I don't have a crystal ball. We'll see how it goes. But I wouldn't be surprised at 5%. All right, so what's 5% of Ethereum's valuation right now? Let's, take, let's do some math. 320B. I'm actually going to use a, a site that cheats. Wolfram Alpha. I love it. Because you can just actually use words with it. You don't have to, like, guess how many zeros you've typed. So you can just type 320 billion divided by, uh, you know, times 5%. 320 billion divided by 20. That's 5%. And the answer is 1.6 times 10 to the 10th, which is 16 billion. So if you, so now if you go, okay, well, you've got a $16 billion valuation. If you capture 5% of Ethereum's market cap, and then how many units do you want to have? Well, I mean, right now, so let's say, so let's say you kept the, let's say you kept the same units of Ethereum. So Ethereum has a hundred and I'm going to scroll out for this actually. Ethereum has 115 million Ethereum out there. So 115 million times 2770 gives you the $320 billion valuation. So now we're, we're using a 5% grab with like 300 and, where did it go? Oops. 16 billion is 5% of 320 million. So now, which was easy to know, you could just divide by 10 and cut it in half if you want to get 5%. So, so now you're at uh, 16 billion and you've got a million units. And now you're, I mean, basically I could just take uh, 2770 times 0.05. You know, now you're at each pulse being $138. So do you want to, do you want to, to have $138 pulse 
or do you prefer to have more affordable pulse? I, I prefer more affordable, you know, new people, new to cryptocurrency, they feel richer when they can buy more units. There's a thing called unit bias. And, you know, right now BNB is a third of Ethereum's valuation. And so now with the same units as, uh, as Ethereum, we would have, you know, six times higher or at five. Yeah, we would have six times higher price. So like if we got the same percent of market cap of Ethereum that BNB currently has, you know, our unit price having the same number of units that uh, Ethereum has 1.1 million or 115 million would be like a thousand dollar pulse. Well, that's, I'd rather have something to grow into, you know, I, I don't want to get to a thousand dollar pulse so quickly. So it's, it's really, it's really a guessing game, you know, and any of these units could work and would work. They're just going to change how people price things. And hey, um, Rich, we've got <clears> another question from the sure. community. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you handle the rage from the ETH community and many other ERC20 founders if you get rage at all? Well, one, I don't give a fuck because I've never given a fuck. They, like, I'm a better person than these people. I, I make a better impact in the world. I do more things to help people than almost anyone else in cryptocurrency. So you go to richardhart.com. You can see me making accurate price calls. You can see me giving away free videos, free eight hour live long streams where I answer everybody's questions, free trading advice, which I don't do much anymore, but I used to do a lot of, um, you know, here's where you set your stop losses. Here's why you shouldn't get liquidated. Here's why you should have a stop loss before your liquidation. Like, you know, here's why limits pay better than market order. Like, but I don't do that anymore because it, it makes people lose money because they, they get into a bad habit of doing bad shit and then they just lose all their money. Traders lose. So if, if you don't, promote trading or talk about it much, it helps people not lose. You know, I help people lose weight. I help people stop drinking, stop gaming, stop trading, like give away free books. I wrote two free books. I'm giving away for free. I can't do more other than just start adopting kids to be a good person. Like, know, right? <laughs> so, you know, it just, if they don't like me, they can fuck themselves. There's something wrong with them. I'm a better human being than they are and it's measurable. Yeah. And I've been doing it for fucking years. You could go show me when you called out fake Satoshi in person. No, I'm the guy that did that. All you faggots didn't do that. Maybe only right on. two other people did that, you know? So yeah. like yeah. I'm doing what people should do. And if they don't like the free stuff, fuck off. Don't, don't take the free stuff, but do let me know when you're making free stuff so that I can come take it from you and shit talk to you, you know, like yeah, it's just sure. absurd to me. Sure. Absolutely absurd to me. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. It's 